Now the next problem is about a cone. It says a cone of base diameter 60 mm and x is 70 mm long is resting with its base on HP and it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degree to the HP. And the cutting plane is bisecting the axis, draw the development. So let's first understand if it is a cone and if you cut it along a generator and then if you open it, what, what is the shape which you will get, right? So basically you will get this shape. This will be the shape which you get after cutting. So how to solve the problem of cone? So basically we have to start by drawing the top view of the cone and then we can draw the front view of the cone. We will divide the circle into eight parts. So these projections will give us the required generators in the front view and we will give some notations here like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So that would be A prime, B prime, H prime, C prime, G prime, D prime, F prime and E prime in the front view. Right. Then we have to see that which generator is giving this giving us the true length. So here we can see that if this is O prime, this is O, O prime, A prime is giving us true length and O prime, E prime is also giving us true length because both the generators are appearing as horizontal line in top view. That means it is parallel to VP. So in front view, it is giving us the true length. So we will draw a line equal to this length O prime E prime here parallel to this generator. And then we have to draw this shape. But when we draw this shape, the question is, what is this angle? Up to what angle we should draw it? So that we can calculate with the given data. So uh, we know that the diameter is given here. So length of this arc would be equal to the pi d value. Right? When we open it, that is basically we are opening this circle. So this should be equal to pi d. Now we have this length. See if this length is not given, we can draw the front view and then we can measure it, this length. And let's say that is r. Okay, so we can write this that length of arc that means length of this arc is equal to r into theta that means r into theta theta is what we want. We also know that length of arc is equal to pi d so we can write pi d is equal to r into theta and from that we can easily calculate the theta value. Once we get the theta value, we have to draw this arc up to the calculated theta, then we will get this point and then we need to connect that point to this one and that gives us the development of cone without any section. And then we can draw these generators also. Now to draw these generators, you have to divide this angle into the required number of parts. Remember that you cannot draw it as we were drawing it in case of pyramid because if you transfer this distance that is E to F using compass over here. So that would be the length of straight line connecting E and F that would not be the arc length. So that would differ. So to draw generators over here we have to divide this angle into some parts required number of parts and then we have to draw this generators okay so this is how we can draw development of a cone if no section is given now let's introduce the cutting plane so in our problem it is given that it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp and inclined to the hp and bisecting the axis so we are drawing this cutting plane line at 45 degree angle with x y and passing through the midpoint of the axis. So that is how this cutting plane line is obtained. Then we have given some notation. So I am assuming that the intersection of cutting plane with O A is 1 prime and then O B is 2 prime and so on 3 prime 4 prime 5 prime and then we will come back to this F G and H so that would be 
6 prime 7 prime and 8 prime that is how these notations are given now to develop the surface we need to transfer these points on respective generators so now we will transfer these distances to the, on the required respective generators so we can see that point 1 prime is on o prime a prime so basically we will transfer uh, 1 prime with this horizontal projection on oa right so this was a uh, straight away transferring transferring the point 1 to a so this is 1 now we have point 1 on this oa as well so we have to use the compass so we will take this distance o2 1 and then we will transfer it to this o a here so that gives us 1 here okay next is point 2 and 8 so we will transfer now remember that first of all we have to transfer these points to the true length line so here the true length line is OA right so this is where we are getting the point so now we need to transfer it to the respective generator so this 2 prime and 8 prime are on two generators one is O prime B prime and one is O prime H prime so 2 is on OB and 8 is on OH so we need to transfer this point to OB and OH both so I will take OS center this point distance and then I will transfer it to OB so this is OB and it is on OH so I will transfer it to OH So that gives me this point that is point 2 and point on H as well. Let me check I, I think I have made some mistake so I am transferring this distance to OH here. So one point one two this. So I uh, sorry I have marked this point one. It was wrong. This is actually point one, and this is point eight. Okay. So that way, what we'll do is we'll transfer these points to the required generators. Once we obtain these points, we have to connect them with a curve now. As I told you earlier that if it is a problem of cylinder or cone, we have to connect them with curve. So I will connect these points with a curve. Alright, now here we can see that we are removing the top portion that means this portion is removed. So we will make this portion dark and this arc also we will make with continuous thick line. Remember that no need to make these generators with thick line because they are imaginary lines they are not actual edges right so this is how the development of cone is done in this case also suppose the problem is such that the cutting plane is cutting the base then again we will do it the same way we did it for uh, this pyramid right so we have to transfer the points to top view and then we have to transfer it to the 
developed surface in that way we can develop the surface so with this we are completing this topic of development of surface and uh, the next topic would be uh, isometric projections